It was tough conditions, but did you get a chance to, to as Stewie advised you, soak it up? I uh, look. I mean, it was to be quite honest, it was quite emotional for me. It's been this has been uh, my race. You know, I've loved coming back here, and it's where it all started for for me. And uh, you know, there was memories there that came flooding back. You know, from when I first started here um, 14 years ago now. So. I just enjoyed it. It was, you know, in some ways a blessing in disguise that the race was up the road. I was able to sit back and just enjoy myself a little bit more. And it was fantastic coming up the, the climb for the last time as a bike racer. Yeah, it's so, certainly something. You said the brake did go away and, and then I think the peloton realised that it had too much gap and it took a little bit of pressure off there. But there was still a lot of racing between yourself, Chris Harper, Luke Plapp and, and of course James Whelan up that climb. Um, so a bit of pride at stake as well. Yeah, look, I mean, it's fantastic to see James Whelan win this race. He he deserved it. Um, he was the, the, the strongest rider here. Um, and then he finishes off today. So it was good fun. And, uh, you know, hopefully there's another Luke Plapp in this peloton who can kick on and, and get a pro contract out of the race. Yeah, and you're just saying to me off air that, you know, the young talent in your team, the under-19s, and uh, there's certainly, you know, for under-19 kids now and stepping up, it's just uh, a great to see going forward for a cycling in Australia. Oh, look, I mean, there's probably the next Cadell Evans in that peloton there today. Who knows? I mean, there's going to be another Australian win the Tour de France, and it'd be great to say that I rode in the peloton with them here in this race, my final race in Australia. And then just finally for Richie Port, last race probably here in Australia, but where, where to next? I know you, you still got plenty of uh, ambition and goals this year. What's next for Richie Port in the racing calendar for 2022? Yeah, there's no Tour de France for me, which is just fine, but the big golf for me is the Giro d'Italia. So... I'll be 37 tomorrow, but I still feel like there's, you know, there's, there's a, a bit of uh, fuel in the tank to have another good year. You know, I don't want to go out, um, you know, I want to go out with a bang, not a whimper. So I'm looking forward to getting back to Europe and uh, finishing up the career. Well, Richie, it's been great for Australian cycling and we loved having you here and we've certainly got memories to do. So best of luck for the season and congratulations on your career thus far. Yeah, I mean, thanks to everybody for coming out and supporting. And to the Aussie supporters that stay up all night watching the tour and the Giro, thanks a lot. It's much appreciated.